Marshall on the spot. And try and lift these knees, those knees, your knees, nice and high. Shoulders are relaxed, head lifted, lengthen the back of the neck. Well done. The higher you lift the knees, the harder it's going to be. So if you're new, a little bit overweight or struggling, make it smaller if you need to. Your body, your choice. I'm turning so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to go two forward, two back. Well done, two forward, two back. Hold it here on the spot. Let's take it wide, or as wide as is comfortable, so just a little bit wider, or very wide and lift the knees, really up to you. Bring it in. Two forward, two back, so two forward. Now I want to put those two together. So we can, go, can keep going forward and back, we're going to take it wider at the front, together at the back. So box step or V-step, forward and back. Wide at the front, together at the back. We're going to tap and change the lead leg in a moment. So we're right leg at the moment, left leg, right left and back. Are you ready? Four, three, two, tap change. So this leg comes out first. Don't worry if you haven't got it. Try and join me, right, left. You can add your arms the same as me, really putting the arms out here so you can see which leg is going out first. You ready to do that tap change again? Let's go. This side, out. Well done. Tap change. Ready, tap change. So that's four. Three, well done, two, don't worry if you haven't got it, it really doesn't matter, change size, just keep moving, do what feels right for you, just march on the spot if you've lost it, we need to do that for two on a tap change if you can, again don't worry if you can't, tap change, tap change for two, two, one, and change, can we do singles, maybe, single, tap change. You can a little twist if you want. What I find with this one, if you add a swing of the arm, it's a lot easier to keep those feet going where they need to go and twist. But if you want to keep it small, just keep it here, a little bit forward and back, changing the leg. Tap, step, step, tap. Step, 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 tap, well done. So make it big if you want. You can really swing it round. If you want to, make those steps nice and big, or you can keep it really small and, and not turn it at all. It's up to you. You've got to go with what feels right for your body, for your ankles. Well done. I never got it, you Marching right, left. Try to keep those feet nice and light. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Any time it feels too much, leave the arms out, make the moves smaller. If you want to make it hard, lift, lift those knees a little bit higher. I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing. Stay facing me, please. It'll be easier for you. So we're going to take that to half time with a little bit of a tap. Tap, tap. And again. Well done. Back to normal marching. Well done. And that tap, the tap. The arms out to the side, little bicep curls. So as I said at the beginning, if it's too much, Please leave out the arms, do what feels right. Normal side marching, just let the arms swing comfortably, shoulders relax, head lifted, really lengthen the back of the neck.
Those half-time toe taps. Side arms. March on the spot, arms in front this time. Try and touch the shoulders, reach away about shoulder height. If that doesn't work for you, do what feels right, leave the arms out. You've got to work at your own level. If you want to make it harder, you could take the arms up as well. I'm going to take it somewhere in the middle. Ready for those half time? With the side bicep arms, are you ready? Well done. March, arms out in front. Or up if you prefer. Well done, just keep moving. More important you keep moving than following me exactly. Well done. That's all for today. I look forward to seeing you again in another workout. Bye for now.